Hello everyone. Uh, this is in continuation of our critical path method. In the previous uh, three videos, we had seen uh, how do we construct a project network. And then in the next video, we, we saw like how do we do a forward pass and backward pass calculations, which will enable us to determine the critical path. And then the same thing, using the same thing, we can able to determine how much will be the project completion time also. Then in the third video, we had seen how do we determine the earliest start time, earliest finish time, latest start time, latest finish time for all the activities. That means the first three questions of this particular problem we had seen in the previous videos. In this video, we will see the last question, which is how to determine the total float, free float, and independent float for all non-critical activities. Floats are available only for non-critical activities, right? So already we determined the critical path and the activities involved in that are B, D, H, K, and N, which means other than these letters, rest are all non-critical activities, which means A is a non-critical activity, C, then E and F, uh, G, and then I, J, then K, sorry, K is the critical activities. That means L and M. So these I wrote here, the non-critical activities. Now, what is our A? Let us go back to the diagram and write what is A. It is A is one to two. So I will write that. A is one to two. So here I will write one, two, two. Then similarly, I will write C. You can verify with the diagram what you had already drawn. One, two, four. The same diagram what I was just referring. Uh, this same diagram. C means one to four. That's what I'm writing now. Then E is two to six. F is two to five. Then G, it is three to five. I, it is four to seven. J, it is 6 to 8, L is 5 to 9, and M is 7 to 9. It simply indicates, for example, if I take this I, its tail node is 4, head node is 7. That is what it is. Duration, it is the same thing uh, what is initially given in the question. Uh, means for activity A, it is 2 months. Activity C, we are only targeting the non-critical activities. Targeting, uh, sorry, uh, activity C, it is four months. Then activity E, it is six months. Activity F, it is eight months. Activity G, it is uh, three months. Then activity I, which is a non-critical activity, it is two months. So I am only reading out the non-critical activities duration. I am ignoring the critical activities duration. Here it is five months, J, L it is three months, M it is 13 months. So let us write the duration over there. Yeah, activity A it is, let me write the duration. Activity A it is two months. Activity C, it is four months. E, it is six months. F, it is eight months. G, three months. I, two months. J, five months. L, three months. And M, 13 months. Now, how do we calculate total float for a particular activity. If the activity is I and J, I to J, how do we calculate? We have to calculate it as triangle J, whatever is the number written in Jth triangle minus Ith rectangle minus the duration. That will give you the total float. Similarly, free float, Jth rectangle minus Ith rectangle minus duration ij independent float it is uh, jth rectangle minus ith triangle minus duration of ij 
Now, what do we mean by uh, jth triangle in this case? In this case, it is triangle 2 minus rectangle 1 because here j is 2, i is 1 minus already we have the duration. Let us write that 2. Now, let us go to uh, triangle 2 in the diagram. Here it is. 2 triangle, it is written as 8. So, 8. First rectangle, of course, it is having a 0, minus 2. So, that will work out to 6. So, the same methodology, let us do it for C. It is, let me, let me just expand this, if I can. Okay, so now C, it should be triangle 4 minus rectangle 1 minus the duration. Triangle 4, what it is, we have to go back to the diagram and see what is written in note 4 triangle. It is 9, so 9 minus 0 because rectangle 1 is 0 minus 4, that will give you 5. Same way, next one. First, let me write all this. Here it is, triangle 5, rectangle 2, duration. Here it is, triangle 5, rectangle 3, duration. Here it is, triangle 7, rectangle 4, minus duration. Here it is, triangle 8, rectangle 6, minus duration. Right. So now, uh, triangle 6, at node 6, what is written in triangle? Node 6, here it is. 15 is written. Node 6, right? Yeah, 15 is written. And then, rectangle 2, what is written? 2 is written. So 15 and 2, I have to substitute. So that gives you 7 as the float. Same way I will proceed with filling up others. I will be referring the same diagram but now I am not going uh, every time I am not scrolling up because I am having the sheet with me now. So I will directly refer the sheet what I am holding and write the values. Uh, triangle 5 it is 16. Rectangle 2 it is uh, Rectangle 2, it is 2 and the 8. So that works out to 6. Next one. Uh, this is 3 minus, uh, I'm sorry, not 3, it is. It should be 16 again. And uh, at node 3, what is written in rectangle is 6 minus 3. So that works out to 7. Then for I, uh, in triangle 7, it is written as 14 minus rectangle 4. Rectangle 4, you have 9 minus 2. So this works out to 3. Here it is 20 minus 8 minus 5. This works out to 7. And then here, uh, you have triangle 9, rectangle 5, minus duration 3. Triangle 9, you have 27, rectangle 5 is 16, duration is 3. So 27 minus 19, it is 8. Then here it is triangle 9, rectangle 7, minus 13, it is 27 minus 11 minus 13. So 27 minus 24, it is works out to 3. 
same way free float here you have the first number see whatever here i wrote it with the triangle now i should write it with the rectangle means rectangle here it is triangle 2 here it will become rectangle 2 here it is rectangle 4 rectangle 6 rectangle 5 rectangle 5 rectangle 7 and uh, rectangle 8 here it is rectangle 9 rectangle 9 now next this and this are same because both are rectangle i both are dij so simply i can consider the same numbers means minus 0 minus 2 so it is simply minus 2 okay here minus 0 minus 4 it becomes simply minus 4 minus 2 minus 8 it becomes minus minus 2 minus 6 it becomes minus 8 here it is uh, minus 2 minus 8 it is minus 10 here it is minus 6 minus 3 it is minus 9 here it is minus 9 minus 2 it is minus 11 here it is minus 8 minus 5 so it is minus 13 here it is minus 16 minus 3 it is minus 19 minus 11 minus 13 is minus 24 so let us now write that rectangle 2 is 2 minus 2 so that works out to 0 rectangle 4 is 9 minus 4 it is 5 rectangle 6 is 8 minus 8 so it is 0 rectangle 5 is 16 minus 10 so it is 6 rectangle 5 is 16 minus 9 so it is 7 rectangle 7 is 11 minus 11 so it is 0 then rectangle 8 is 20 minus 13 which is 7 here it is rectangle 9 is 27 minus 19 so it is 8 rectangle 9 is 27 minus 24 so it is 3 this is our free float then comes independent float see this and this are the same so first number will be the same i'll write 2 9 8 16 i'm copying the first number 16 11 uh, then what uh, here it is 20 correct no 11 16 16 8 9 2 yeah here it is 27 here it is 27 what is the second one this is first time we are writing so i have to write it as triangle one this is triangle one this is triangle two what is that because i it is written so i have to choose the uh, number which is there in the tail node here it is duration duration we know it is two here it is we know four here it is six here it is eight here it is triangle 3 minus 3. Then triangle 4 minus 2. Triangle uh, 6 minus 5. Here it is triangle 5 minus 3. This is triangle 7 minus 30 so you can subtract this first 27 minus 3 27 minus 3 is 24 and then triangle 5 24 this 2 27 minus 3 triangle uh, triangle 5 is 16 as per the diagram so you have 8 here it is 14 27 minus 13 minus triangle 7 is 14 so it is 0 Okay, now here, 
20 minus 5 is 15. 15 minus triangle 6 is 15. So it is 0. Here it is 11 minus 2. So it is 9. Uh, triangle 4 is 9 again. So it is 0. This is 13, 16 minus 3. Triangle 3 is 6. So it is 9. Here it is 16 minus 8. 16 minus 8 is 8. Triangle 2. Triangle 2 is 8. So it is 0. 8 minus 6. It is 2. 2 minus triangle 2. Triangle 2 is 8. So whenever you get a negative number, you have to consider it as 0 only because time cannot be in negative. So that is approximated to 0. Actually, you get negative 6, but you don't write time in negative. So this is 9 minus 4, 5 minus uh, triangle 1 is 0. So it is 5. Here it is 2 minus 2. It is 0. Triangle 1 is also 0. So this is 0. So these are the this is the method for calculating the total float, free float, independent float for each of the non-critical activities, right? So by this we had completed all the questions that is A, B, C, and D. So in case if you find all these videos to be useful to you, I request you to please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all. Please take care. See you later.